In this quick video guide, we're going to see how we can create some sculpting in Blender using Blender Kit and in particular the brushes or the chisels or you can call these however you want of Blender Kit. So Blender Kit offers a lot of free uh, tools that we can use, a lot of free brushes and you can see here like simulating horns and hair and uh, fur or mechanical parts uh, or cyberpunk parts or whatever. So you can apply all these details just by using the correct um, brush. So you can see right now I'm using a brush so I, if I want to apply this effect I just click and drag and that decoration is going to be applied. So let's go from the beginning. First of all we need Blender Kit. Now Blender Kit offers, it's an add-on and offers a lot of features which we are um, explaining in other videos. So if you're interested, just type Blender Kit in the search bar in the channel, you will find other video about uh, Blender Kit. You can also find a video course in Blender and a video course in digital sculpting if you're interested and in character design. So all you need to do here is download the Blender Kit package, which is going to be a zipped file. And then if you want to install it, you just need to go to Edit, Preferences, go to the Add ons select install navigate into the folder where you downloaded the zipped file and then say install make sure that the package is activated right here so you need to check this checkbox on you're also going to have a, a video tutorial if you want but i'm just going to go quickly here so you have a top toolbar that you can use and also a toolbar on the right so you can see here on the right and if you don't see this panels on the right, just type N of your keyboard in order for uh, this to be shown. So we can use brushes. You can type brushes right here and this stripe is going to open up and it's also telling you to switch to paint or sculpt mode. So this is how we can use brushes, otherwise you cannot use it. Now before we go there, now let's set up our scene. I, I already have a monkey here that I've already used, so I'm going to place this aside. I'm, I'm going to show you all the steps from the beginning. So let's add mesh and monkey. So we have the standard Blender monkey head. Right click and shade smooth. So we have a smooth surface. And now we need to increase the number of subdivisions, which means increasing the polygons. If you go here and see the structure on the wireframe, visualization you can see we have few polygons and that's not good for sculpting we need many 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 more so how we can do that without increasing too much the heaviness of your scene well let's go again in the shading mode here so we can see the the solid mode so we can see the geometry and then let's go in the modifiers properties right here on the right and let's click to add modifier and let's add multi resolution modifier now this is the best one because it's going to uh, allow you to subdivide which means increasing the details and increasing the number of polygons so that you can work with the sculpting and with these really fine decorations that you can apply. So let's continue because at this level it's not enough. So we need to subdivide more and more and more and more. I think uh, level 5 or 6 are, are going to be fine. Lower than that, you're not going to have that quality that you see there in the details. Okay, now, once you prepare your monkey head for the sculpting, now you're ready to go in the sculpting mode. Okay, now in sculpting mode, again, we have the toolbar there in blend of Blender Kit. We clicked here to find the brushes. You can also turn this on and off using this. And you can go in categories, click in here. So for example, I can start here with the, the first one, which is going to be anatomy. And uh, once you select that, you're going to have anatomy brushes here. You can also click on the arrows to go back and forth. Now here you have the standard brushes of um, Blender to sculpt and paint and do all sorts of uh, operations. And again, if you're interested in that, check the 3D character design video course in the channel or write in the comments for assistance or for questions. Now you can see that I've already downloaded this brush. So to download and use a brush is really simple. You just select one. So let's select, for example, this other one. And then you need to wait. When the uh, line on the bottom will be green, then you're ready to use the brush. So this one here, 
you can see is using a lazy mouse. So I click and drag and at some point these uh, stitches will appear. So this is kind of a stitch brush similar to the one that I used there, which is the, the stitch skin, uh, like a scar. So you can click and drag. So this is a little bit different. This one here is click and drag. So you have different ways you can sculpt in Blender. Sometimes you can click and move over and it's going to create like a repetition of an element. And sometimes it's just a single element, so you just need to click and drag to make it bigger or smaller. Or if you go here, you can change the stroke type. You have many different stroke type. So if we use drag dot instead of uncord, now you can click and drag and you see it will position that whatever you want, but it's keeping the size as it is. So you have different options here to use the brushes. You can use textures, you can use strokes fall-offs and many other options, but again, those are all explained in the other video course. Now let's use some other brush. So if I go down, let's go to Animal. So you can see here we have like horns. This is really nice. So if you click here and drag, you're gonna create a horn. So this is again, similar to the previous one. So it's the anchored stroke. So again, you can click and drag, click and drag, create the horns however you want. There you go. So you can really play a lot with this. And then if you don't want to do something like organic, you also have like mechanical parts. You have you can do apparel design, you can you have clothing brushes, you can have like zippers, really defined zippers to your clothing. And so this is, you know, a really a, a wonderful source of different elements. You can add bolts, rivets, screws and seams you can add uh, let's let's go here geometric so you have like high tech or cyberpunk elements if you want like this i downloaded this one here so you click and that's going to be now uh, used as a brush you can see there it looks really beautiful and detailed because we have a really high resolution on our mesh and you can continue to experiment you have industrial here so you have rivets again bolts rivets and these are also repeated so if you click and drag you can see these are repeated and they are also uh, evenly spaced so you can change the spacing again here you can customize all of these brushes right here if you know how to do of course and I'm not gonna explain everything this is just like an introductory video guide to using the the depth uh, brushes or uh, relief, bus relief brushes or decoration brushes, you can call these however you want. So once you get the uh, basic understanding on how you can use them, just click there, download them, wait for them to be downloaded and when they're ready just click and drag and there you go, you have your decoration or whatever brush you want to use. So you can investigate here explore yourself all these different categories and all the brushes if you're looking for something in particular you can type here the thing you're looking for so if i look for decoration for example there you go it's gonna appear or you can also use this one at the right so it has the same features and if you're interested in the other section of blender kit you will find other video guys in the channel so this will be all. Thanks for watching. If you want to help us, please subscribe to the channel and also to stay updated. If you want to help us a little bit more, you can join the channel as a supporter. Thanks and see you in the next.